Hi everyone, I'm back from this video. So this video I have my son Abram sitting with me. He is kind of sleeping and just relaxing on my lap right now. Uh, I wanted to show you guys Evan and I wanted to say hi and talk to you guys about my uh, labor, my birth story, I guess. I never watched a birth story on YouTube. I did watch a labor video on YouTube the day before I went into labor. Um, so if this birth story wasn't what you expected, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm... <laughs> You, see, you just saw Evan smiling, right? Babies just smiles when they fall into sleep. Anyways, so Evan is very cute, healthy, and, uh, you know, good baby. I have nothing to complain, and I'm very lucky to have him. Oh. Um, <laughs> so this video, like I said, um, so my birth story, yes. Um, I was induced on, on July 18th which uh, when Evan was 37 weeks old, the end of 37 weeks old, I scheduled that Labor Day because um, I was induced so I can request what day to be Evan's birthday. And uh, I'm glad I chose on a weekend because uh, I had uh, much more support on the weekends from my friends and family. And uh, my Labor Day, my induction, Hospital induction, I was scheduled to be there at 4 a.m. The reason because uh, usually you take a while for waiting for the 10 centimeters dilation. And also, I kind of want to make sure that I have Evan on that date because July 18th, 18th to my culture, Asian culture, uh, at least Chinese culture, number eight is very good luck. So I picked number 18 uh, to be his birthday. And uh, so I got there at 4 a.m. Before I went there, I ate some food because when you got there, you cannot eat anything like real food. So I only had water and uh, sugar-free jelly. And uh, I think one time, my blood sugar was really, really low, below 80. They gave me some real uh, jello to eat, like the, the real jello. Otherwise, it was always sugar free jello to eat. Um, so I got there at 4 a.m. I had Evan at uh, 8 52 p.m. So the whole time, I, like I said, they gave me the medication for increase like accelerate the dilation because uh, for dilation to reach 10 centimeters it took starting from around 5 a.m all the way to 5 p.m so almost like 12 hours the dilation took longest time of course after the dilation you have to wait for the contraction to be very strong otherwise you have to wait, spend a lot of time pushing baby out because it's just not worth it. So my midwife told me after the 10 centimeters uh, dilation, I spent over maybe two hours waiting for strong contraction to I also wait for Evan to his head down, had to come down a little bit more. So it's easier for, for me to push him out. I ended up having the natural birth, which is, is good because it's faster recovery to a lot of people. Um, so during the 10 centimeters um, dilation waiting period, um, around uh, 7 a.m., they broke my water. And around 9 a.m., I started feeling a little bit pain and a little bit contraction. So I asked for the epidural. And when I asked for the epidural, I realized there are two types of epidural. Is One is walking, one is um, a labor. And the walking one is less do dosed, so you can still walk around. Uh, you can still go to the restroom. You can still sit on the bouncing ball to help the help the labor processing. Not the labor processing, but the contraction wise. So I asked for the uh, walking epidural right away. And then around uh, maybe 3, 3 p.m., I asked for the labor epidural because when I was sitting on the bouncing ball for oh, around two hours, I felt the pain dramatically increased. So I asked for the uh, labor epidural right away because after the labor epidural, you just stay in bed. You cannot go anywhere. Um, <laughs> I know I'm very calm right now just because 
you know, I, I feel like I waited for, for a while to tell you guys the story, so I'm more calm because if I tell you guys the story right before the late, right after the labor, I wouldn't be this calm. So, uh, like I said, I mean, my my labor that day went very very smooth. I have nothing to complain. It was a very good experience. That's why I wanted to share with you guys. So, only one thing I remember. Two things I remember. The most first one is when when around uh, let's see six p.m. or you know seven p.m. when the midwife came in told me yes you're about ready to go into labor. The whole time I was so happy waiting for it to come. I felt very very nervous. My whole body was shaking. I was speechless, like it was just so much emotion. I start crying, and of course, I didn't really go into the labor until eight p.m. So the whole time I was kind of quiet, and my nose was stuffed. So during the labor, when they asked me to push, they said, "Okay, breathe in, take a deep breath," and I couldn't really take that breath because my nose was just so stuffed, and so the whole time. They say, okay, breathe in, and then you know, hold the breath, and then you push three times. And I did that maybe twenty times, for example. And uh, the whole, every each time, I feel so uncomfortable because I had a stuffed nose. <laughs> so, and I re I remember I always told myself in my mind, I thought I was doing a horrible job pushing Evan out. And I remember they put a mirror mirror in front of me so I can see the whole process, like if his head come out or not.、Um, but I was pushing him, but my eyes was completely closed, <laughs> and I was feeling so uncomfortable.、Um, however, my midwife told me the whole time I did a good job, and I didn't believe it because it was so uncomfortable, and I never done that before. So I thought I did a horrible, horrible job. And however, fifty minutes after the push, Evan came out, and I remember the last time I pushed him out because the whole time you have to wait for the contraction. They monitor the contraction, so say, okay, let's get ready to push. But I remember the last time I looked, I look in the mirror, and I and I saw Evan's his head is almost out, and without waiting for the contraction, I went ahead and pushed him out. That was. A good push, and Evan was out. So, to me, my labor was was pretty good. I have nothing to complain, and I'm so glad I did that. The same day, I was able to eat around 10 p.m. I remember that meal was great. I ordered a two big entree from the hospital because I was so hungry, because I didn't eat anything, and、uh, to me, like. You know, to be honest, compare the labor to afterwards taking out taking care of the baby, the labor was much less short, pain. Like it was painful, that around fifty minutes, and you know, epidural really helped. So, and I still remember that day. That will never forget that day. But after the laboring, Evan is out. I enjoy him every day, but then I thought. About what I went through in the last eight weeks, I feel like the whole time I was very depressed. Somehow I went into this very depressed mode. I don't know why. Maybe because my personality. Maybe because other reasons. And of course, I was very tired, not getting enough sleep. So I didn't. I didn't really have a good time. In a way, because last eight weeks was very hard for me. You know, I have to get used to how to take care of the baby because I took care of Evan every night, and、uh, for the first week, I remember I only slept maybe twelve hours total in the first week. It was just so much, so much happened like the first week because Evan had a jaundice the first week, and because I didn't have enough sleep, I broke down at the hospital because we had to take him to the hospital. For the overnight treatment for his jaundice,、um, so the whole time I remember it was very hard to deal with, and it was very depressed. I cried so much, 
So compared to the labor, I feel like the next, you know, all this his life, I will be always worried about him. Of course, I will enjoy his company. I love taking care of him. I love him so much. But compared to labor, I feel like the rest of the life taking care of Evan will be a much bigger story to tell you guys instead of the labor because labor, like I said, is only maybe sixteen hours total. And I remember before the the actual labor eight eight p.m. the whole time, my friends were texting me, supporting me. I actually had a good time that、uh, just enjoy everybody's company. Um. So, with that said, I'm going to end this、uh, video. I、uh, I feel very very blessed to have Evan with me. He's very very cute baby. He looks just like me. Um. You know, I decided to stay home, take care of Evan for a while until he's a little bit older, so he can go to daycare and don't get sick too often. So right now, I am home taking care of Evan. Um, I will make more videos very often from now on because I think I need to record this for everyone as well, not just for myself. Um, I I don't know why I got so emotional at the end. I was very happy at the beginning of the video. I'm still trying to deal with my uh depression because, like I said, I have a little bit depression. Uh, I'm getting a lot better now, but uh. It just you know being a mom. It was it's a lot of work. You can never be prepared being a mom. So you know, and <laughs> it just、uh, a little bit、uh, emotional when I talk about you know being a mom. But、uh, the labor went fine, and、uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, and you know, talk to me. I I think I do need、uh, some. Some of,、uh, I don't know, <laughs> some caring right now because I'm dealing with all this depression right now. But、uh, I'm getting better, and、uh, soon I will get over it. And I can, I need to be strong because I need to be strong for Evan. He doesn't need a depressed mom, and、uh, yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.